Good morning, how we doing? Happy Saturday everybody. How's the AV looking today? Hope you're having a fine Saturday morning. Or if you're in Australia, a fine Saturday evening and you had a great Saturday. And that's Sommy. His way of saying hi, I think. Yeah, that's definitely... Look, look, he's just knocking the railings over. Look, that's how good that horn is. And Pups finally joins. What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to go on TV. Look, look, I'm on TV. <laughs> hey, Ethan, thank you. Uh, Berry D, thank you for 45 months, by the way. Ryan, 23. Coffin Dodger with 29. Almost 30. Actually, 30 now. Good morning, sir. Uh, Bandy Man, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Gamble Manx with 21 months. Pizza the Hobbit with 83. Swampy with three. Dr. Introvert to 27. Uh, just fine. Just abuse me. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Skogged upon. Thank you for half a year. Uh, Jones. Thank you for 41 months. Uh, MB. Thank you for seven. So now they've realized my parking brake is off. They're just taking advantage of it, aren't they? Look, see? They're just having fun with it now, aren't they? It's going to end up down the side of a cliff in a minute. Konnichiwa, Squirrel-san. Good morning, <sighs> Mr. Squirrel. Good morning, uh, D-Storm. How are you doing, sir? Well, at least this isn't costing me any fuel, which is good because there's no fuel on this map. So I'm getting free ride right now. Uh, Coffin Dodger, thank you so much. Thank you for the squeaky bike horn, five subs. And guys, if you got one, please give me a thank you. Early morning support, thank you very much. Oh, it just leads me into a brick wall. Thank you. <laughs> uh, West Midlands Travels, thank you two months. Good morning to you. Fine, I think they're finished. Frimley, thank you for 17 months. Right, so let's just explain where we are before I get Pups and Zombie down here. So we're on the new Lowland map, which is this one here. Uh, the interesting twist with this one, if I just quickly have a look at the global map for you. Obviously, there's a, a national forest that we can't get to yet, but the interesting twist with this one is the way that you start off, you don't start with a working um, garage at all. In fact, your your garage is, um, needs work. Like, the first missions are to get the garage working. Um, you've only got one slot. You can't refuel. You can't customize. And until you've done certain missions, you basically have one vehicle, and you have to decide which vehicle that is. So for a single player, this map is going to be very tricky. Um, for multiplayer, you know, you can have a few vehicles. There was a couple of trailers kicking around at the start that I saw. There was a fuel tanker here, I think. And there was a flatbed there. But yeah, you're um, very, very restricted initially. I'll show you the missions in a second. Actually, if I, if I just recover it, there you go, see... <clears throat> Some features are locked. So garage slots are locked by cleaning out the garage. So if you look, there's only this slot available. Uh, customize locked by restoring the tuning shop. So we've got to do that in order to be able to customize vehicles. The truck store is locked by this mission. And then refuel and repairs locked by this mission. So until we've done these, we can't do anything apart from spawn one vehicle. And whatever, however you've built it before you came here, that's what you're having, basically. So that's a fun start. So really the first order of the day, I think, is to go and get the watchtowers. But I'll, uh, I'll get Pups and Zombie in first. Right, 
Royal James, thank you for 200 bits. Thank you very much. Austri, Aus, Aussie train man, sorry. Thank you for five. Bubs, 19 months. Kunji with four. Thank you very much. Right, let's um, let's drag them down. Just gonna put myself on voice act. No, it's... Say hi to the stream, everybody. Hi, everybody. The stream, everybody. Okay, right. Can you hear me still? You can. Good stuff. Cool. Right. Which watchtower do you fancy? I'm going for the one behind the garage. No. <laughs> okay, easy mode, boy. What about you, Sonny? Uh, I'll take whichever one you don't want to take. Uh, do you okay. want swamp or woods? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm easy over. I'll go southeast, and then you go north, and then we'll see what what's what. Roger, north confirmed. Bye. Oh my god, who just sent that off? CHR, dude. Thank you so much. 20 subs. Can we get some squirrel gifts in chat for uh, CHR, guys? Thank you so much. We haven't even pulled out the hi yard. I know. Awesome. I haven't even gone out the yard. D Storm says hi, pups. He likes you, mate. Hey. Oh, there's two exits out of here. Um, if you just got a sub from CHR, please give him a thank you. That's very, very kind of him. Uh, challenge for the day, get pups in hysterics. That's not exactly a challenge, is it? <laughs> I was going to say. I think a lot of them... Oh, that bridge doesn't work. Yeah, I went down the left side. Okay. Um, I think most of my vehicles are configured for probably snow and not mud, but whatever. Not much I can do about it. I think I'm in the same boat. Wait, we don't even get a mission to repair that bridge. I think we do. It's a real pain, otherwise. Yeah. Um, Super Owl, thank you for half a year. Pratala with 70 months. Charge Cookie with 82. Some big numbers, guys. Thank you. Oh, my game just stuttered a bit. The heck? Oh, the timed mission. Oh, keep your eye out for uh, upgrades and stuff. Yeah. Something over there. I'm just gonna have a look around this area first. I'll unlock some missions. Adonaran, thank you for 34. Oh, there's a loading bay. Okay. So this is clearly gonna be some kind of warehouse we need to get back online. where the cabins are made. I think you could be right. Anyone want to volunteer for that, Joe? I thought you like cabins. Oh, I love them, Paul. They remind you of Basildon houses. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Obviously down at the posh end. <laughs> Sipping grub. This missile. Cargo management. Metal beams.
the posh end of Las Vegas. Relatively speaking, for them, yes, there is a posh end. They're the ones with like internet connection and heat. <laughs> it's the, the posh end. Oof, not paying attention now. Raz, thanks for 13 months. Ah, fuel station here. Interesting. Does it work? No, there's no box outside yet, I don't think. It's got the music. Even though music's turned off, it's got it. Yeah, because ain't it classed as ambient sound in this game or something? <laughs> Environmental or something, isn't it? Blocks, wooden planks, two of each left, and vehicle spare parts. Oh, that's a lot of water. I guess I'm going to be hacking it over there. Massive port here or something. The Irish pub. I like they just built a platform, then built a pub on it. <laughs> so there is. Oh, hope that wasn't somebody's car. Lol. <laughs> Wait, that just despawned the car. Water flowing so quickly though, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's flowing from nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, it's like magical water power. Maybe it's an underground spring. Storm, thank you for gifting us up to uh, IS first, I think. Is that how we say that? Shut our white house. I love how your sponsor is Be Quiet and your fans are spinning at max RPM. <laughs> Look what that upgrade is. <laughs> yep, somebody's going to be getting uh, engine damage by the looks of that. Gateway. Oh, there's two gateways. Northern landslide. <laughs> D Storm, squeaky bike arm legend. Thank you so much. Ten subs gifted. Blimey, you're so generous. Thank you, sir. If you got a sub, please give D-Storm a massive thank you. 
how are you and the wife? We're doing fine, Simon. Thank you. Indeed. You getting that one, pubs? Yeah. Cabin construction. Okay. So it's not just a case where I can just leave this here now. Like, I, <laughs> I need nope. to bring it back to change it to something else. <laughs> no, you can spawn another one then. You just have to jump back to the garage. Oh, you can spawn more than one vehicle. Yeah. So why does it only give you one slot? What's all that about? It, the one slot is the... Um, we've never used the function, but you can park like six vehicles in the bays. You look at the top of the screen, and that normally that changes from one to the other. That's weird. I, I yeah, I kind of mistook that for something else then. All right, so the one that we need to do first is what? Which one do you want to do? Truck store, refuel, customize, or garage slots? Can you? Ex is it, is there an order that they can be accepted, or is it accept them all, or what's the deal? You can accept them all. Let's. Um... Evans Garage, cleaning out, activate, accept. Uh, truck store configuration. That will allow us to reconfigure our trucks. That sounds fairly important. That and the refuel, which is driven by constructing a repair garage. Wait, where is constructing a repair garage? Is that a mission? Because if it is, I don't know which mission that is. It'd be one of the oh, garage it's ones. Constructing. Right, vehicle parts. I wait a minute. I saw vehicle parts from a closer warehouse than that. I'm sure I did. That one down here. Yeah. Cheeky game. There's, there's vehicle spare parts just down the road from us, and it's saying, oh, you should get these from the northeast part of the map. I don't think so. Right, I'll take a flatbed out and go and get that then. We need four fuel from somewhere. That'd be the fuel station. Four bricks come from the warehouse northbound. Well, the fuel station didn't have, like, anything at the time I went. Is there only one spare part in the south warehouse? Um, I'd like to say no. I thought there was two of each. I remember there being two of each. When I was there, there was two... Or well, maybe that means... Does that mean there's none, or there's an infinite amount? There's an infinite amount. Right, there you go. It's fine, then. In that case, let's get a flatbed. It would have a zero next to it if there was none left. Unless they've changed that, how that works. That's how it's always been. Do you want to accept those other two under the Evans garage, Paul? The trailer I, store and the truck store? I thought I had. Doesn't look like it. I literally went through and did everything in the Evans garage. That's the first thing I did. I don't understand that. Trying to find out where it's good fuel. Oh. So many trucks. Well, we have been playing it for a while. <laughs> We need to basically get fueling before we run out of fuel, right? I can't see any at the warehouse, so I'm wondering if there's a supply just over the other side on the map. I reckon there's got to be a way of activating that fuel station. It's probably one of the pictures. Got the side. Bit. It's 
is weird. It seems to be popping textures in as I get near now. Yeah, it was doing the same with me. Never used to do that. Nah, Captain Flint, it was completely under control. You think there's a fuel mission at the bottom set of missions? Which one? Fuel station. Oh, the yellow rock. If you activate it, Paul, I can grab that and get it online. Alright. I'm just going to go and activate everything I can. Again. Okay. Don't. Is this the second map in the DLC, or the second part of the DLC? Yeah, yeah. So the it wasn't season pass, you mean? I'm trying to, yeah, that's what I meant. The th I'm trying to remember which one was the stupid one. The Russian one. The third one or the fourth one that's coming. Remember the road map, and one of them was like some, the next one. some assault course rubbish. Like, have fun driving over blocks and stuff. Yeah, woo. So at one o'clock this morning, I was ordering 300 meters of network cable. Yay. <laughs> That's what I was doing. It was doing my head in. I was scouring the internet so hard trying to find like the best cable and the best connectors and everything like that. Trying to find the ones I need. There's so many variables. It's ridiculous. Well, yeah, I managed to get 300 meters of shielded network cable for the same price as lots of places were charging for 100 meters. So I, I count that as a win. So did you do your STP in the end? It's... There is no STP. They've, they've renamed it all now. It's all... Oh, God. It used to be unshielded and shielded, right? So yeah. UTP and STP. Now, it's, it's all prefixed. So it's all something slash... UTP or STP. Except it, FTP doesn't necessarily mean shielded now. That means foiled twisted pairs. And that means the twisted pairs have foils on them individually. Not the outer casing has a foil on it. Which is what the bit at the front now means, which is F slash something. <laughs> it's so, just, what, so what have you gone? So have you gone for just shielded I, cable but not shielded pair? Correct. I've got which is right. called now F slash UTP. Right. So that's a that's a a foiled outer casing slash unshielded twisted power cable. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. And I was going to go Cat Six A until I found out what a pain in the bum it is. So I went for Cat Six instead. Because Cat Six A is really heavy and a lot more expensive and a lot thicker, and then you need different connectors, and you don't need it really because I I then found out by watching a random video but you can still do 10 gigabits down a, a, a cat 6 line if it's less than 37 meters which I'm pretty certain most of the runs in my house are less than 37 meters yeah you'll be fine so even though I don't have a 10 gig switch yet I'm alright with cat 6 and it's a lot less pain than cat 6 a so yeah there was a cool video I watched with these two network engineers you know like kind of real world talk type things where there are actual engineers that do this every single day and they have like cat 5, 6 and 6a out and they were talking about the pros and cons 
And they were basically saying how painful it is using Cat 6A. And if you if you have to like strip cable and put connectors on it, your hands really become quite painful after about a ten of them. Just like proper real world stuff. Yeah, which is before you do the investment, you want that sort of insight, insight, didn't you? So I think that makes sense. Yeah. So that was a useful video. Tracking the wrong mission, I am now. Because that's go through all the other ones. Um, what are we doing? Truck store? No, we're doing constructing that. I think we're just going back to the garage anyway. It's typical signal you're taking around 100 meters through the nearest Cat 6. Well, Cat 6 are, Cat 6A is rated for 10 gig at 100 meters and upwards, whereas 6 is only rated at 37 meters. Because Cat 6A is rated for like 500 megahertz, whereas Cat 6 is only rated at like 250. Yeah, but as you said, it's you'd still get a gig on Cat 6 at 100 meters, wouldn't you? You'd still get 10 gig. On cat no, six. Cat, cat six hundred. Oh yeah, meters. sorry. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, you'd get a gig, not ten gig. God, this is close. But you're only going to go a gig switch anyway, aren't you? I've only got a gig switch, yeah. But if, yeah. like, I don't want to put cables in and then later on have to redo cables. You know, rather get the right cable in now, kind of thing. I wish it would tell you what type of saddle you've got on your truck. Mr. Kayla, thank you for seven months. Uh, I don't want to go that way, but I'm going to have to. Maybe, bro. You could maybe. I don't use Cat 5 anymore. I haven't used it for a long time. All the cables in my house are Cat 6 at the moment. All shielded Cat 6. Which is enough. I think. For a house, you don't need any more. <laughs> Unless your house is like 100 meters long. <laughs> these off here. Yes, we are. Right. Okay. Paul, does this look like a saddle high or a saddle low? Let me have a look. You just come out and go. Because I think two of my trucks have saddles on and I can't put any on. That's not true, Captain Flint. That looks like a high to me. I would Do you suggest. have any saddle lows in stock? Um, let me see. Let's see. What does it tell you when it's a saddle? What is he trying to do? It doesn't. Was it trying Open to the fuel station. You need a saddle low. And it doesn't tell you what you have on. I mean... If you can't customize, then either you have to get lucky or you're going to have to do the customization one first. Let me put this next to you. Uh, Captain Flint, so it depends whether you use um, solid core or stranded core. Because stranded is a lot more bendy than solid. So you can get a Cat 6 cable that's stranded and it will bend a lot easier, especially if you don't have the spline in the middle. You just, get, just buy a patch cable instead. Um, that. So that's the same height as the one I've got, I think. Yeah. I think we always, pretty much always use high. That's the problem. I mean, I could leave, quickly fire up a single player okay. yeah. change a truck to put a saddle low on and come back. <laughs> you could. Um, or we could get the customised mission done. How, how hard is that? Uh, which one is it? Truck Tuning store. shop, is it? Uh, yes. That's four metal rolls from the warehouse top right, and then metal beams in the same B. place. 
So that's quite a run. That's probably going to need refuel halfway, I guess. So we'd have to move the tanker and decide yeah. on how we're going to get there and back. And I'm going to go... So I've done half of the trailer store. I'm going to go and do the, the cement for them and you'd be able to spawn a trailer in and see what the saddle is as well. Nice. So if I go and get grab two cement and bring that back, then you'll be able to do the same. But if you want to carry on with something else, then we'll do that, yeah? Okay, so shall we... Metal rolls, metal beams. I could take the... Let me move this out of the way. I could take the Western Star, I don't know. It usually performs pretty well in the mud, doesn't it? That's got a yeah. four slot capability, I think. You mean twin steer? Sorry, no, twin steer. That's what I meant to say. This bad boy. And then we could drag the fuel tanker down the road a bit. I thought, sorry, Captain Flint, I thought that's what you was on about, the bending. Like the ability for it to go round the corner. Can I drag this? Try and look at this thing. Only with a winch cable. I can drag it, I think. What have you got? If not, I've got one without a crane on, so I can just grab that. Look at him in his little diddy puppy truck. Right, so we're going to do tuning shop, aren't we? God knows how we get up there. Where are you heading, Summer? Are you heading to, this, to the warehouse or somewhere else? Oh, yeah, the warehouse on that cliff. Oh, the one to your left? Yeah. Right. But I took this road and I'm probably regretting it, so I'll, I might double back or try and find a different way back with this once I've got the stores on board. Okay. Metal beams, two slots. Yes. How on earth do you get up to that bit? How many slots do you have, Paul? Four, I Four. think. So that's the metal beams done, and then... I've got a I feeling... I can come back and grab a trailer. It's very hard to see how we're going to get to that warehouse right now. I think I left a Tatarin down there somewhere if you want to pre-scout it. Whereabouts do you want this fuel trailer, Paul, on the map? Well, I'm thinking, you see where it says metal framing? Um, yeah, I see it. On, I've in, got the stream. In the middle islands, the islands bit. Yeah, I'm thinking like yeah. there somewhere. So if I put that there, then come back and grab the little trailer, we can do the whole run in one go. Yeah, I'm just going to jump in Sommy's Tatarin and scout that bit. While you do that, I'll take the fuel trailer. Oh, you mean like doing sharp 90s, Captain Flint? Well, I usually run it under the floorboards anyway, so... Uh, I just want to run it under the floorboards, then come up the wall and put it on a network socket. That's what I've done in three of the bedrooms. So I just need to do it in the fourth bedroom. And then my switches are going to go under the stairs, which is where my current switch is. But I'm going to put a, um, uh, a ubiquity dream machine, it's called, in there with the switch. And then in a cupboard in one of the bedrooms, I'm going to stick my NAS drives so that they don't have to sit in the attic and freeze when it goes really cold. Because I found out the NAS drives are only rated yeah. down to zero degrees Celsius. And it dropped to minus two the other weekend, and then my NAS drive failed, funnily enough. I was going to say, Paul, how did you possibly find that out? <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily enough, when I brought my NAS drive downstairs and put it in the living room, after about 20 minutes, it booted up. So 
this time it didn't fail like it did last time where the power supply just went or the motherboard I'm not sure which this time it just froze and went I don't like it it's too cold you should have bought like a blanket for it and wrapped it <laughs> it's in the attic Neeks, at the moment well, it gets, it's fine most of the year apart from when it gets oh. super cold We haven't had a spectacularly glorious summer either, have we? So I don't even suppose it got close to its upper tolerance in your in your attic this time. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, it's right for zero to forty Celsius. It never gets to forty in the attic, but it does go below zero. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, the dream machine. I think only has like eight ports on it, eight one gig ports. So yeah, you're right. You kind of need to have a switch as well. Yeah, you, I mean, you could, yeah, I could put it in a box. I did think about Peanut. I did, I honestly, I went through so many options. And one option was to get a rack, put it in a rack, and then, like you say, just put, like, a, a bulb on a little thermostat or something just to keep it above zero. That was one option I, I thought about. Oh, we're going to have so much fun getting out of here. Yay. on the cusp. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we're going to be needing multiple vehicles to get through here. Yes, that's why I'm getting the... Sorry, yeah, I, I, I'm getting the Pro, not the standard one. I'm getting the Pro, which has eight ports, I think. The standard one, the, the standard Dream Machine just doesn't have a few of the features that I want. Like the IPS, um, IDS stuff, and potentially the video recording. So I'm getting the... Thank uh, you! Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Try the store. Oh. Genuinely had no idea that was going to cut scene, but okay. I didn't get a cut scene, I just got a pop-up. Oh, right. I got a cut scene. Wow, I feel left out. And more XP in the shredder. Yeah. Yes, Dutch Foxy yeah, almost switches. Oh my god, this place is so boggy. I can see a vehicle over there. Might be one of the new ones. Dear me. I think it might be. Yeah, there's a mission that says lost in the distance. This is a Don't... horrible bit of land. I don't think it's one of the new ones, it's one of the smaller scouts by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, even the Tatarin's getting bogged down, that's how bad this is. Mixer and Edge and Univise stuff. Yeah, my access points on my switches are all ubiquity, so when I saw the Dream Machine, I was like, yeah, that's going to be a pretty good fit. Because at the moment, I run a cloud key, and you don't need the cloud key if you have the Dream Machine. Yeah, I kind of wanted to get over there across Morning the swamp. Paul. Nice to see Snowrunner again. It's feeling like also, a bad idea. hello to Sammy and Sean. Good morning, Chris. Morning, Chris. Morning. I'm just going to abort mission on this one. That needs bigger wheels to get over there. That swamp. Let's see if we can figure our way through this bit. Oh, the springy tree. It's always one.
It's nice stuff, Dutch Foxy. It's really nice stuff. Like the whole management tool suite. The ability to control and see things on the network is so good. But you have to have a certain amount of knowledge about networking to get the best out of it, I think. It's not like... It's not really home user stuff. It's not plug it in and go, you know? Bandida, thank you for 53 months. So maybe if we come in that way... How we get over there, though, I don't know. Let's see if we can get up that way first. What are you trying to keep off the cloud battle cattle? You have to sign to your account so it can store your, um, it can back up your settings in the cloud. Which kind of makes sense. Husky, thank you for five minutes. Okay. All right, so, Pops, I don't know if you can see the stream or not. Yeah, yeah, I've got open. The, uh, that <clears throat> that eastern road down to that little mini water pool there. Yep. That's easy. That's fine. Yeah. The hard bit is just kind of get into that bit. Because if we come in the way I did, where it says big loss, over to metal frame. Yeah. We can go across there. Two of us should be able to make it over there. The problem then is how do you get to that east side? There's all these trees in the way. In a scout vehicle, I kind of ducked in between the trees. But in a big heavy truck, I really can go along the coast. Really don't know. Uh, maybe it's, it, you can see the rocky outcrop there looks very yeah. hilly. Unless there's some other way through, like maybe the, maybe there where it says warehouse. Maybe that bit cross over there instead. And yeah. Then go along the east. I don't. I don't know. That might work. We could try it. I've got the fuel tank, it's where we wanted it. It's a real pain though. I'd say we you know, we wanna how much stuff do you need? Four metal rolls and two beams. Yeah, I need to take the trader in the yard. We either want all three of us or could we don't want to be doing this more than once ideally. Well the trader store is open, but if you want me to stop what I'm doing, I'll I'll join you on the three way uh, three way convoy if you like. Um, Problem is, is there... we take long vehicles and traders, we we got a higher chance of turning over, haven't we? Well, we're going to need something potentially with a crane in case we tip it. Um, and also, we could bring back more stuff than we need if we can find it for another mission. We can go there and bring a lot of it back. Trees to the right of the building look thin. Well, these were all where all the bounty trees were. Maybe to the to the north of that through, but this is all swamp here. This is horrible. Anyway, let's spawn back in the vehicle. So metal rolls and metal beams are what we can get from the um, do we need any for any other missions? Um, we don't need any for constructing a repair garage because that's the one I've got active at the moment. But tuning shop needs these. None of the other missions do. I thought my game crashed then. Yeah, so did I. That really hung, didn't it? I'm glad it wasn't just me then. Yeah, that really did hang. <laughs> Access to civilization needs metal beams, but that's delivering into yellow rock. Right. So what have we got then? I can take a four slot trailer. 
It's going to be. So this is a saddle, though. What is? The, the truck that I pulled out before. Yeah, probably is that the high is a. I think high and low is a misdemeanor. I think it's actually the size of the kingpin rather than the height of the the fifth wheel. But I could be wrong. So, so we could have got the fuel station on now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could still do it if you want to. It's up to you. Oh, we want to do a load up to the thing and back, don't we? we just well, they all need doing it ultimately. It's just the order that we do them. What are you working on? The, the tuning shop? Uh, yeah. yeah the so one that'd be more is. useful from a customization point of view. So do you want me to bring out a twin steer as well then? If you, okay, if you two go up in twin steers, I'll get the fuel station open. Right. All right. Give me a sec, Paul, I'll just jump back. Yeah. So I went for my COVID jab this morning, right? My booster. And, uh, did it, it have cup holders? <laughs> it didn't have cup holders, no, and it wasn't a Batman seat either. Oh, It wasn't a Batman booster seat. So I went... Like, it all looked pretty organized. Went in, gave my name, went upstairs. All one-way system, great. Sat down. And she was like, can you just read this? It was like a bunch of things. Have you, have you had this? Have you got that? Blah, blah, blah. No, all good. Which arm? Left arm. Boom, done. Right. Walk through to the waiting room. You have to wait 15 minutes. I was like, okay, great. So I went through this one-way system. Went to this room. And then this woman on the door in a fluorescent jacket just went... Take a seat, so you just have to wait here for 15 minutes. So I went into this room, and all these chairs were laid out equally spaced, like a meter apart from each other in a grid. And half of the seats were taken. And she just said, yeah, you need to wait in here for 15 minutes just to make sure there's no side effects or reactions or whatever. So, okay. Seat anywhere, right? So I'm sat there, and I'll, the first thing I did was look at my watch. <laughs> Because obviously, if I have to sit in here 15 minutes, I only want to sit in here 15 minutes. So, I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing now. There we go. So, um, I sat down, 9.29. Thought, okay, 9.45, I'm out of here. I'm sat there five minutes and nobody else has left yet. I'm thinking, okay, I wonder how long they've been here then. So I sat here another fight. So 10 minutes has gone and nobody has got up yet. Meanwhile, this like old boy in there, every now and again, he's like, <coughs> <coughs> like this, like coughing. And then after about 10 minutes of being sat there and nobody left, I was thinking, this, surely somebody knows when they should leave or surely the woman who's controlling this knows when people have done their 15 minutes. At about 50, after about 10 minutes, this, this one person, this woman gets up, he says, Excuse me, can, can I go now? I've been here for 25 minutes. And, and she went, yeah, yeah, you can go. I was like, okay, I see how this is. Next thing, this old boy goes, so how, how long do we have to wait then? And she says, 15 minutes, lovey. Are you feeling okay? And he went, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay. And then she went, not that there's anything I could do for you anyway, if you didn't. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? Wow. And then she went, no, what I mean is, I, I can't do anything for you, but I, I can do first aid. But if anything, I'd have to go and get somebody else who could help you. <laughs> Sitting there thinking, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Like she's so basically what she's saying is she's not medically qualified and she's in control of a room full of people who have to wait in the 15 minutes she has no system she's got no organization she wouldn't have a clue if you'd been there 15 minutes or not I, it's it's painfully obvious because this one woman when she left she came over with a cleaning solution she started cleaning the seats and she looks around and she went to be honest i don't know which seat to which anymore i don't know who's left i don't know which ones i should be cleaning <laughs> thinking, wow! You're, you're probably volunteering, but come on, love, put some effort in. Like you've got one job here, just come up with a system, like any system. Just give people a ticket when they go in. Do it in five-minute chunks. Tell people where to sit. Just do something so that you've got a clue what is going on. But no, she had no clue what was going on. So I'm sat there, and then next thing, this guy starts saying 
to her. He goes, well, somebody's got to be paying for all this, eh? And she said, what, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, all this, all these vaccines, it's, co it's all costing money, isn't it? Somebody's got to be paying for this. I thought, oh, here we go. He's, st he's starting on this line now. Where, where's all this going? And then she said to him, she said, well, she said, I used to work at GlaxoSmithKline Beach. And she said, most people don't realise just how much money it costs to make one of these vaccines. Making them at the end is the easy bit. It's all the research that goes into it beforehand. Like all the staff they have to employ and all the research and development and testing they have to do. I'm thinking, dear God, let me out of here. I want to go now. Let me go. Please let me go. Look to my clock. 9.43. Nearly done. So this is going on. This conversation is going on. And then at 9.45, I just stood up, went over to the woman. I said, my 15 minutes are up. And she said something like, well, I know you've got to get off anyway, so I'll let you go. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. No, no, you, no you don't know I've got to leave. What are you talking about? And secondly, I've done 15 minutes. Not that you'd have a clue, but and I'm going anyway. <laughs> it was just... And, and guess what? nearly everybody that was in that room when I went into it was still there and none of them got up it was just the most bizarre thing like what do you do with your life <laughs> just, oh that's brilliant yeah she must have known as a streamer that's what I was thinking like, how do you know I need to leave oh you've got to go and stream haven't you love wait what <laughs> it was just so odd what an experience can I refuel directly from this yes I can Whee. Yeah, well, when I had the AstraZeneca, I didn't have to wait at all. Um, she just said, are you driving? And I said, no. We said, okay, you can go then. If you was driving, they made you wait. But with the Pfizer one, they're just making us wait for whatever reason. Matty, I, honestly, if people that had got up and left, she wouldn't have had a clue. She couldn't have challenged anybody in that room, apart from somebody who just walked in. She couldn't. She wouldn't know. She had no system. But people were so polite, nobody was getting up. And I just thought, when it hits 9.45, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's what I did. Did you also miss some songs in the background? Uh, there was no songs in the background, but I sure don't think. Uh, P. Millie, thank you very much for subbing, dude. Welcome. Road Wolf, it's a very known bug on Twitch that even subs are getting ads right now. But, you know, they don't appear to be fixing it before Christmas. Gee, I wonder why yeah, that is. A bug. It's a bug, Paul. Yeah. Oh, no, all the ad revenue we get at Christmas. Uh, Oh, there's a bug in the system. More people are watching our ads than ever. Really? Could you just go straight across this road, Paul? Hang on. I'm, I'm really not paying attention. I might. I just have to warn you about this. So, okay. So, if we go... Where are you? You're behind me. Yeah, you're fine. Just follow me. Um, if we turn left where I am now, that's the way I went with the scout. If we carry on to the right, I'm hoping we can get across that way and it'll make our run on the east side a bit easier. But I've not been this way to the warehouse, so I don't know. This is a risk cool. in the dark. You want to head that way? Get over I think here. actually where you are is probably straight down, isn't it? And then across. Yep. Uh, D Dodge, thank you, 33. Uh, OB, thank you for subbing. OB Drew, Drop I think that's how we say your name. And Adobe, thank you, 14. No, Road Wolf, it's ridiculous. You guys are paying to be subs, and you shouldn't be seeing ads, but you are. It's ridiculous. But is hey. it um, half rumoured that it was something to do with ad blocking or something? I reckon. If it is ad blocking, you'll get, you won't even be able to watch the stream. It would just like come up with a red screen saying turn off ad block to watch. Oh, okay. Who knows? Oh, this doesn't look good for a twin steer at all. Okay, not as narrow as I thought.
Yeah, that's not too bad across though. Twitch stop you when you're telling a funny story. That's the worst thing about it, Jones. It was just that, because they're still doing that sort of pre-roll ad thing as well, aren't they? Yeah, they basically give you a choice. It, it's like a shotgun to the head, so you, there's no option to say, please don't run ads, I don't care, I don't like them. There's no option to do that, so your only options are either you tell us when to run ads or we'll run them for you. <laughs> yeah. And frankly, in the middle of a stream, you can't be sitting there thinking, oh yeah, I'll just run some ads now. Unless you're... I guess if you're playing a game where... It's piecemeal. Like, say you're a hunt showdown stream, but you can go into a game of hunt, come out, and as you're coming out into the menu screens, run a quick ad. You could do it that way. Or flight sim when you're in cruise. You could do it in flight sim and cruise. Um, playing a game like Teardown or something where you're in a mission for like an hour. Yeah. You know. Yeah, or have a planned break. You can, if you fit it around your life that way, you can do it. Otherwise, you just got to let Twitch do its thing and it'll just run them whenever. It would be nice if there was an option to skip ad, you know, just in case there is something going on. Well, I don't know. Ads are just a inevitable consequence of somebody having to pay for all this infrastructure again. Oh, this is a bit deep water. Yeah, I can, I can understand that, John, from me. Kenko, thank you for four years, sir. Happy anniversary. Hope you're well. I stayed a little bit. Where are you, by the way? I'm behind you, but for some reason, you seem to be massively quicker than what I am. You're the same vehicle, then. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm just diff locks up or lower, that's all. I stayed a bit left through there, but I don't know how deep it is in the middle. I'll stay here in case you need. When we come back, we just got to watch we don't tip over in this thing, because we have no crane. <laughs> Audi, I've done it myself. I've gone into streams that I, I've never seen the streamer before, so I jump in just to see what they're doing, and then just get presented with a 30 second ad, and I just leave. So I'll never know if I like their stream. And I hate that aspect of it. I just want to watch for 30 seconds to see, you know, are they, do they sound like they might be a nice stream? Does it sound interesting? Are they screaming? <laughs> do I even want to stay here? Why am I getting stuck down? Of all the winch points it's given me, yours is not one of them. This auto winch is just going for everything but you. Sounds about right for auto winch. It's like there's a million logs on the ground, so it's going, do you want that log? Do you want that log? Do you want that log? Or do you want the motorized vehicle in front of you? I don't know about that one, Jamie. What, quite often, if I go into a channel that I follow I, and I get an ad, I just mute it and <laughs> do something else for 30 seconds. That's what I do. I don't block it, but I just don't listen to it. Well, Elkin, that's the point. That's what they want you to do. They want you to pay for Turbo, because that's just lining Twitch's pocket. So that's exactly what they want. No, it's not, Paul. It's just a bug. Because with a Twitch Turbo, you pay like $10 or something. They keep all the money and then give the streamer some small part of it when they run ads. But otherwise, they keep all of it. So it, it greatly benefits Twitch and they love it when you get Turbo.
Whereas if you subscribe, they have to give a certain percentage to the streamer, no matter what. Well, that route seemed to work okay. Yeah, it wasn't too terrible, was it? Uh, uh, so, what am I taking? Well, let's see. We've got to go... Tuning shop. Four metal rolls and two metal beams, so... I guess we could take a beam and two rolls each. Cool. And where do we need to go with it? Tuning shops are basically back to the garage. Okay. But yeah, that route wasn't totally devastating, was it? <laughs> oh, we made it through okay. I think we just had to shimmy around a, a bit on that river crossing, but hopefully we'll have enough fuel to get back to the trailer. I think we will. Let's see if we can do this without tipping over. Well, Dutch Foxy. Personally, I don't either, but they're not going to ban something they get, they're making a lawful lot of money out of. It's not ideal for the twin state of that bit. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's literally, that bump has been purposefully created so that it's above the wheel span of this vehicle, isn't it? Like, yeah. Come on. There we go. How do channel points work? You just watch and earn them, but um, you, you can claim more if you're actively watching and paying attention. I didn't want to go that way just in case it tipped. Reward and cause isn't it? The usual thing. I swear it's just winching me to the worst possible thing it can find. My camera is looking directly at you. Yeah. I kind of feel like they've made the winching worse. It has no sense of priority. If you winch up to me, then I'll winch myself out and then winch you through. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Enceladus can indeed. There's also a chrome extension. I think you're beached though. Cool, you through? Right. No, oh, you let go just as I was no, getting I, to the I, beach point. I, I think it broke. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, good. Hey, Wakadi. 
this was that deep one that you went straight through the middle, didn't you? More or less through the middle of it. Wasn't too bad. I don't know if I went through your furrows or not, but mine started to list to the right, so I had to steer into it and yeah. put me more in the water. You seem to go through it pretty straight, and now I started going over. Always taking the front garden. Pass by boat, left over crest. <laughs> I'm just taking the fence out, don't care. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Are we ready for a nutty Christmas? Wackaday, when you change your ring doorbell to to play uh, Deck the Halls when somebody presses the button, you know you're in for a nutty Christmas. Did Mr. Scroll jump? Oh, do you know what's brilliant, though? I came back from my um, booster jab, and I was sat having my breakfast, and Mrs. Squirrel turned up in the car, and, of course, instead of it playing the usual jingle, it played a sleigh bell, ching, 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 and the dogs didn't flinch. Not one bit. And then as she got out of the car, she set it off again, and they didn't flinch. The first day that they knew that she was at the door was when she started opening the door. And then they jumped up all surprised, like, what? We're supposed to get notifications. <laughs> it's amazing. They've just become pre-programmed to understand what the doorbell sound is. But now they've not got a clue anymore. So I'm going to wait till they get the association, and then I'm going to change it again. <laughs> I can do that all through the year. <laughs> I don't think you can upload your own WAV file yet to, to play a custom soundbite. No, nice. you can't. Well, not as far as I know. There might be some hacky way of doing it, but there's certainly not a simple way. I'd like to be able to do that. Come with ubiquity doorbell. Just embracing my inner drunk drive through that section. If there's one thing these trucks are good for, it's this kind of terrain. This kind of muddy, swampy type stuff. Well, they're long enough for the for one set of tyres to be on good ground when the others are on bad ground. What did you, what, what for work did, did, did you do before streaming? I tried to understand that question. What, what for work did you do? Um, IT. Software development rather than hardware stuff. You basically go about 240 euros? For is a doorbell? That, wow. Is that the price you pay just to be able to upload your own sound? Buddy? Nah. I'm good. <laughs> Ring doorbell, doorbell, Black Friday sale. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I did. <laughs> I mean, battle cattle, that doesn't feel like value for money. It's just a doorbell. You know, it serves a fairly simple purpose in life. No, I don't think it is, Jorman. That Dream Machine Pro is like 300 quid. 
upgrade in something quick. You get a lot for the money. A doorbell, 240 euros, that's not a lot for the money. No, let's go. I heard that. Yeah. Hang on, I'm, I'm just dropping off the thing. Do you want me to bring a crane? Well, I'm going to need something. Either that or I'll get my own crane, but... Yeah. I have 42 litres of fuel left, so I, I can't even come back to help at this second, so I'm just trying to make it to the fuel station with any left. Let me bring your crane. Yeah, you're just over the road from a tanker. The problem is, like, you, you like scan in chat constantly, and you look up, look down, look up, look down. It's Puppy just to enough to occasionally miss the rock that tips you on, on your side. So it's a bit... You're not focused entirely. Alessia, thank you for the bits. Whereabouts are you for? On the map. Hello. Ha, 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 ha. Well, you see where Sommy is? Go to Sommy, yeah. then keep going. <laughs> I'm on my way with a crane. 23 litres of fuel left. Ooh. That's annoying, because, like, it's not even... It's just annoying. It shouldn't have fallen, though. It's ridiculous. I'm just putting your map up on the stream just so I can see where I'm meant to be going. I just keep following the road, and when you get to the crossroads, turn right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Paul Mav. Entertaining you since 2013. Sleeping on the job. Does that look comfortable? You can't sleep in that position. Someone would. Yeah, I'd take it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a twin stair. And it did so well. And then on the easiest part of the circuit, what does he do? It failed. What does he do? Look at it. What did it do? It was Trap's fault. Where's PRS then? There he is. How am I feeling after the booster? I'm feeling okay at the moment. <clears throat> I think you should probably be okay for the duration of today. It's just tomorrow, whether you'll be all right or not, basically. My arm's not even sore. That's just bizarre. Mm. And before Mr. Skrull walks in and taps you on the shoulder. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Imp said he had AstraZeneca's and then Pfizer, or his missus, or somebody did, and then he didn't even feel the Pfizer one. We'll see. You found your arm didn't get sore until later. That's interesting. I've never heard of BioNTech, Baz. It's the Pfizer one. Pfizer's worse for you the day after. Fair enough. Pfizer is BioNTech. Okay. I've never heard it called BioNTech. Uh, Miko, thank you, 15 months. Yeah, happy holidays to you, Miko. So, fuel station's now open, right? Yeah. So I've got the trailer store done. Blimey, how did we get onto that? It's that northern road. That 
looks like steep cliff face to me. That warehouse in the north, how do we even get there? No idea. Is that the one that you asked me was I going to? Well, you went to the, to the northern watchtower. Well, you know, you can probably hack it up the side of a hill in a tattering, but in terms of a truck, go into the warehouse. The road so, that's next to it. You see there's a truck parked down on the side of the swamp. Yeah. Basically, you carry on along the edge of that swamp, but then there is actually a path up the hill through the oh, trees. Okay. But it's it does it's not that obvious on the map. But that's basically the way that I'm I'm going to be heading. So what are you going there for? The blocks and cars. Um, so? I think bricks. I think I was going there for. Pfizer's the pharmaceutical company that distributes and make it. BioNTech are the scientists that make the actual vaccine. Well, in modern, like, common parlance, shall we say, I've never heard it called BioNTech. I've always heard people say Pfizer. That's what I meant. Sam. Best. Just been driving around trying to figure out where to deliver this, and I had the wrong mission tracked. Oh. I'll do it. Have you had anything from your P.O. Box recently, Paul? I have not had any P.O. Box, Dave, recently. I saw that. No, you saw nothing. I saw you that. You saw nothing. It's been deleted from the internet already. It never existed, never happened. Let me know when you're near the um, truck and I'll jump back in. Yeah, no, 